Okay, so I'm going to discuss about area under curve for this uh, lesson. Okay, so first first thing is, okay, we need to understand this. Okay, let's say kita ada satu, okay, x-axis. Let's say, yeah, now we are talking about x-axis. Eh? Okay, let's say we have x-axis. Okay, one thing that we need to remember is this. Okay, anything that on top of the x-axis. Okay, let's say you see something lah, eh, curve like this. Okay, a curve like this. And then the curve is going down, down here. Okay, let's say you have a curve like this. Okay, anything that on top of the x-axis, kalau ada dekat atas, that area we call it as a positive area. Maksudnya, kawasan sini kita panggil dia sebagai positive area, positive region lah. Okay, that area is actually positive area ataupun positive region. Okay, let's say you have something below the x-axis. Okay, below x-axis. So, okay, let's say you have positive, neg so this side, this side we call it as a negative region, negative area. Nah. So, what is the main thing that we need to understand? Meaning that when positive, okay, positive is on top of the x-axis. Negative is uh, bottom of the axis, and the position of the area is counted by positive and negative. Maksudnya, okay, let's say, okay, kalau kita punya, okay, let's say, yeah, your, okay, your area is here, then you get positive answer. Your area is bottom of the axis, then you get negative answer. So that is the definition for the positive and negative. So sometimes you get negative answer. Negative meaning that the position of the area is negative. Right? Meaning that area is positive. Remember, eh? area tak boleh jadi negative. Mana boleh distance jadi negative. Okay, let's say kalau kita mau kira distance ni. Okay, mana kita boleh dapat negative to CN? Not possible, right? You have negative because of what? Because maybe this one is origin here. Ha, ini ialah origin. So, you go left side. So, you go left side, you dapatlah negative to CN. So, so consider like, okay, the position dia. So, we need to understand his position dia. Okay, the position is either uh, left or right. Uh, it was about last time, remember? La last time we have negative centimeter, negative meter. Negative meter because of what? Because the mo the object is going to left side. Uh, it was about kita dapat negative, negative distance. Uh, same goes to area. So, when you have positive area, means it's a above the x-axis if we have uh, bottom of the x-axis then it's a negative negative area okay that's the simple uh, explanation when wh why you get positive answer why you get negative answer okay itu yang kita kena faham eh? first thing that you should understand uh, for the area under curve okay now i'm going for example okay we go for example ni saya padam Okay, so first example, come copy this question, number one. Okay, my first example is, I'm going to find this area. Okay, I have a diagram. Okay, diagram is a curve. Okay, so kita ada value. So here is 2, here is 5. Okay, you have x-axis, you have y-axis. Now, I want to find this area. Okay, saya mau cari ini jawapan dia berapa. Okay, now I want to find this area. Uh, this one is a area of shaded region lah. Area and the curve. So, I want to use, okay, area of the curve. So, I want to find this area. Okay, how are we going to start? Okay, first thing is we need to know the formula. Okay, area and the curve, ataupun area and sh area of shaded region lah. Eh? You can use area and the curve or area of shaded region. So, area or under curve ataupun sama juga area under area of shaded region lah eh ok so area of under curve is equal ok now remember this time we you are we are we are doing the integration in x axis right betul eh kita buat dalam x axis when you are doing your integration to the I mean, uh, you are, when you are finding the area under the x-axis, meaning that your formula is dx. Dia akan jadi dx. 
Uh, this one is very very important. When you are doing respect to x, x axis, then you get dx. dx meaning that we are doing on x axis. Maksudnya ini menunjukkan kita nak buat respect to x axis. Okay, and okay, and we have to integrate y dx. Itu formula dia lah. Okay, we have to integrate. Sebab ini kita akan ada formula. Formula dia ialah y equals to 4 x square. So, maksudnya kita akan ambil benda ni. Kita akan ambil benda ni. Kita substitute dalam ni. Okay, kita ambil benda ni. Kita substitute balik dekat sini lah. Uh, kita akan masuk dekat sini. And we have limit right. See, look at look at here. We have limit. So, our, low, our lower limit. Last time I teach you eh, lower limit is 2. Okay, dia akan jadi 2. Okay, and then we have upper limit. Upper limit is 5. Ha, dia akan dekat sini. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now we are, we want to integrate respect to, okay, uh, 2 to 5. And then y, y is actually 4 s square dx. So this is the uh, integration for the uh, finding the area of the curve lah. Uh, ini ialah untuk cari shaded region ni. Okay. Is it possible to solve this? Boleh you selesaikan benda ni? Is it okay for you? You can do it. Is it can you can do? So, what is the answer? Equal. Okay. Apa jawapan dia? So, integrate for x square. Become what? 4x power of 3 correct divide by 3 and then the limit is 2 to ha uh, yeah the limit is 2 to 5 right? okay so you have limit 2 to 5 okay now we're going to substitute okay we're going to substitute so substitution will be 4 over 3 5 power of 3 minus 4 over 3 2 power of 3 and you you just program your calculator and find the last answer. So get this answer. What is this answer? Use your calculator. Okay, go and get your calculator. Come, try to find this answer. What's the answer? So 4 over 3. Okay, I just do program. Right? I do program. So 4 over 3, x power of 3. And then I substitute 5. So I get, okay, I get, uh, Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay. 166.67 lah. Eh? Ataupun saya ambil fraction dulu. Okay. I put fraction first. 500, 500 over 3 minus. Okay. I tamu hilang value dekat sini. Ah, last answer baru saya tukar dalam decimal. Here I put the decimal. Ah, put the fraction. Improper fraction. Because. Ah, ya. Yeah, 53, 500 over 3. So the second answer is. Okay. 32. 32 over 3 eh? Yeah, correct 32 over 3 And the last answer Ah, Now this time we put decimal lah 500 over 3 Minus 32 over 3 You get Ah, yeah 156 eh? You don't get decimal right So you get 156 156 unit square ah, Kenapa ada unit square? Because you are doing area right Kita nak cari area kan Area mestilah Okay, area mestilah mm square, centimeter square, meter square, okay, ataupun kilometer square. So we actually mesti ada square, right? Okay, so same thing lah. So since here we don't have any specific unit, so kita letak unit square lah. So this is our last answer. Okay, I hope you can follow the basic basic integration lah, eh? so basic integration and then transfer all the uh, diagram value into the formula ok I proceed for number 2 question 2 
Okay, now I want to find this area. Okay, so this is what I want. I want to find this answer. So the sign formula is y equal s square plus 4. Okay. Okay, this is what my question. So, okay, what is the starting point? Apa kita nak buat? apa kita nak buat so first first thing ok get the formula right so formula is is area of area uh, area of shaded region ok will be equal ok the formula is what formula is AB ok AB is the limit lah eh? ok AB Y DX so this is the formula ok why I get DX because I'm doing to Okay, x axis. So ini mesti ialah x axis. Okay, I repeat this because okay, we will have y axis also. So we have to manipulate according to the formula. Okay, so we have uh, later. Okay, not today lah. Maybe ah uh, yeah, I think can. Okay, after this I'm teaching you. I'll teach you how to get the uh, how to do when it comes to y axis. Okay, so for now we are focusing on x axis. Okay, so equal. Okay, what is my limit? Integrate. Yeah, correct. Okay, 31 lah. Eh. So actually we read 1, 3 dah. Okay, baca lower limit, upper limit. So 1, 3. And then what is y? Yeah, correct. X square plus 4 dx. Okay, we are we will substitute this formula. Dah. Ambil y ni. Okay, ambil y ni kita masuk dalam formula dia. So, this y, we have to put it here. Uh, so, we get x square plus 4 dx. Okay. Uh, next, I proceed for the integration. Okay, next, I proceed for the integration. So, I'll get equal... Okay, integrate this. Correct. X, x power of 3 over 3. Plus 4x and then close bracket 1, 3. Okay, kalau dia tak ada, uh, kalau dia ada limit, tak ada tambah C. Eh? Don't, okay, no need to put C dah. Okay, you don't have C inside, inside your calculation. So, you get only this x power of 3 over 3 plus 4x and then your limit is 1 to 3 ok now find the answer so find this answer 1 over 3 3 power of 3 plus 4 times 3 minus ok then you get 1 over 3 1 power of 3 plus 4 times 1 ok so you go for the answer what is the answer Okay, program your calculator again. Program your calculator. X power of 3 over 3 plus 4x. And then substitute 3. Substitute 3, you get what? Uh, I think you get 21 lah. Yeah, I think you should get 21. So, Please check uh, Amir tadi kan. Cuba check balik. 21. 21 minus 
Okay, the second one will be one, right? So one, yeah, you get thirteen over three, eh? Betul. Yeah, correct. This one is thirteen over three. Okay, the last answer you put in decimal, lah. Ah, last answer you put in decimal. Twenty-one minus thirteen over three, you get. Yeah, correct. Sixteen point six seven unit square. Okay, why why this time? Ah, eh, suddenly I ask you to put. Decimal lah. I'm still you tanya saya. Why you may you might ask me why you suddenly I put uh, point decimal right? Decimal is just to uh, see the value. Let's say lah. Let's say you put thirteen uh, over three right. Thirteen over three kita tak boleh nampak apa des apa dia punya area dia. Okay, this one is supposed to be four point three. If I not mistaken, this one is actually thirteen over three is actually four point three three right. Uh, but four point three three we can see the area lah. Tapi 13 over 3, we can't see the area. That's why, okay, for the last answer, you go for the decimal. Decimal will be the right answer. Because kita mau nampak, at least kalau kita nampak 1 meter square pun, kita nampak lah. Okay, 1 meter square, right? Kita boleh nampak. Kalau kita put, kalau kita letak uh, 2 over 3, okay, unit meter square, kita tak nampak dia punya value dia. So, yeah, at least 0.6667. 6.7 meter square kita nampak dia punya value. So that's, that's why I'm asking you, okay, in the decimal lah. Okay, I ask. Kalau letak fraction boleh lah, acceptable. Actually, fraction answer is acceptable answer, but 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 uh, better decimal. We go decimal because you can see the value. Kalau you pecah, kalau you letak pecah, you tak nampak value dia. Dia berapa value? You besar ke kecil? You tak nampak. That's why I'm recommending you go for the decimal. Only this case lah. Only this one is special. Do you do, we do the like that. Okay, and apa ah? Eh? Okay, next I'm proceed for question number three. Okay, now I proceed for question three. Okay, so you can uh, copy on your paper. So question three is this diagram. Okay, so my problem is this. Ah, area dia ada dua, betul. Area dia ada dua. Correct. Ah, okay. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eh, kerja saya lukis dulu. Saya nanti bagi tahu. Very, yeah, good. Okay, excited. Eh, bagus, bagus. Saya suka macam tu. Good. Ini memang ada dua area. Ah, uh, this one is something. Something is I can teach. Something interesting there. Okay, atas ni sembilan. Okay. Uh, so what is very interesting here? Why? Okay. What is very interesting here is this. Okay, kerja eh, saya bagi you. This one formula is y equal x minus three square. Okay. So ini soalan dia. Okay now, now just now you ask me you have two area. Okay, the question is either you do one by okay you do zero three three six or you can do zero to six. Ah, apa so apa jawapan dia? Anyone? So just now, I think Ame right. Ame asking kita mau buat kosong tiga tiga enam atau kita boleh buat kosong sampai enam. Which one is the answer? Uh, which one? Okay, which one will be the right answer? Oh, okay, okay. Let me uh, okay. Let me answer you question lah. Eh? Okay, just now your friend says okay. We we start from zero three y dx plus zero three y d. I mean sorry. Okay, you can go for three six. Uh, three six dx right. Okay, this is one one way of answering. Ini of course betul. Okay, of course that one is correct. No nothing wrong by doing that. But we ha we can do actually we can start from zero to six y dx also allowed it. Ini pun kita boleh buat. Okay, why I say this one is acceptable? Remember I taught you. Remember I taught you this. 
anything on top of the on top of the x axis okay is positive maksudnya semua dua-dua ni is positive rigid do both of this is a positive so meaning that you can straight away can use this answer tak tak ada masalah okey let's say dah eh? let's say kita punya curve okey let's say you punya curve tadi satu atas satu duduk bawah ah then you must split and do okey ini mesti kena buat split and do so first one let's say 0 3 ah ini kena buat ini only you can use number 1 ah ini only you can use number 1 you cannot do it together Okay, understand what I mean, eh? Alex, class, is it okay? I'm what I'm what I'm saying here. Ah, okay. So when your graph is above the x-axis, you can do it together. Maksudnya, you st you can straight away you can use this formula. Okay, you can straight away use this formula. Maksudnya, ini terus boleh guna. Let's say your case is now, ah, uh, one is ah uh, one is positive, another one is negative, then you cannot you shouldn't do that you shouldn't do by this lah maksudnya ini kita tak boleh guna nombor 2 eh, nombor 2 ni kita tak boleh guna nombor 2 then you have to use number 1 so mesti kena guna number 1 ni ha ini ialah paling paling sesuai dia kena number 1 ni ya yeah, sorry ya yeah, ya yeah, betul Neg dia mesti kena dapat negatif ah uh, okay okay now we I'll, I'll I'll teach you how to do negative question kita nak tengok macam mana kita nak buat negative question ok so kita buat first kita start buat ok so because eh, until this I ajar you positive saja saya belum pergi negative side ok don't worry I'll, I'll show you for the negative region ok saya padam ni dulu ok kita pergi soalan ni eh. so ini saya padam ok so my case I'm going to use number 1 lah uh, sorry number 2 I terus buat number 2 because of what because this one is positive do do positive so i'm going to use this number 2 formula okay so since i'm going to use number 2 formula so what is my my what is my formula here the limit will be 06 okay my area under curve okay area under curve sama dengan Okay, 0 to 6. And then, what is your Y formula? Ha, apa kita punya Y formula? Y formula ialah X minus 3 power of 2 DX lah. Because this is our Y what? Ini kita punya Y. Ha, ini kita punya Y. Kita punya Y, kita substitute dekat sini. Okay. So, you have two methods to go. One, you can expand. Right. Okay, satu ialah expand. Satu lagi ialah kita guna formula ni dah. Uh, we have two formulas to apply. So, I think you can use this formula. Ax plus b power of n plus 1 divided by a n plus 1 plus c. So, we can use this formula. So, you have two formula to apply. Okay, of course you can expand lah. Expand and you can find the last answer also allowed it. But I'm going to use this formula. Saya nak guna kita practice ni. Nombor 2 ni. Because in some cases, you cannot simply expand. So, you have to know this formula. So, number 2 ni kita kena tahu juga. I mean, uh, this formula so we need to know. Okay, I'm going to apply this formula. Come, try to apply this formula into your calculation. Okay, kejap eh. Dia pun saya punya calculator hang. Ah, Try to do that. I try to do find the answer. Okay. Okay. Sorry, eh, my calculator is hang just now. Okay, so you dapat balik, eh? Okay, cap try equal. Alamak, lain lagi sekali. Sorry lah.
okay power of 3 over so a is actually what ah yeah correct a is actually 1 1 times 3 and then plus uh, plus c lah. but we don't have c because we have limit so 0 6 Okay, kita tak ada C ya, yeah? sebabnya kita nak, uh, kita ada limit so we don't have C. Okay, now proceed for the answer. So you get, uh, in bracket, x minus 3 power of 3 divided by uh, 3, because 1 times 3 you get 3, and substitute 0, 6. Right? So 0, 6 you get equal, alamak. Okay, so how I'm going to proceed for this? Okay, so kita nak buat macam mana? So first thing is, remember, again, get the formula. So formula is one. Okay. Area under, area under curve. Okay, equal A, B, Y, D, X. So this is the formula, right? Okay, area under curve is equals to a b y d x. So since we have positive, we remember we have positive. One side is positive, so this one is positive answer. This one you should get negative answer. Okay, because of what? Because one is above x axis and one other one is below x axis, right? So in this case, we need to uh, do it like two. Right? We have two limits. We have to split the fun uh, uh, limit. Okay, so one, first one, I put this one is A1, area 1. Okay, and then this one, I put A2, area 2. Okay, I want to find one by one. Lah, eh? So one, area 1 is what? A1 will be equal. Okay, what is area 1? Okay, I put here 0. Lah. Okay, here 0, eh? 0 region. Lah, eh? Okay, what is the limit for A1? Integrate. Ya, yeah, correct. Negative 2, 0. Betul. Negative 2, 0. Correct. Okay. And this function lah. And this function. So, you put x, x plus 2, x plus 3, then dx. Okay. x, x plus 2, x plus 3, dx. Okay. Then, this is a1. And then, a2. Go for a2. a2 equals to? Yeah, correct. Integrate 0, 3. And then same thing. The function is x, x plus 2, x plus 3, dx. Ah, inilah kita punya condition dia lah. Okay, this is the condition for the uh, for answering the question number 4. Okay. So now I'm going to proceed with uh, Okay, for answering the question number A1 lah. So, I'm going to try to do for A1. Saya letak sebelah sini. Okay, kita buat A1. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Okay, so go for A1. Okay, equal. Okay, equal. Okay, kita expand ni. Ah, now we try to expand this. So, you get what? Negative 2, 0. Okay, x. Kita nanti dulu. X, hold on. Expand or uh, quadratic first. Then easy to expand lah. So, you get what? Correct. S square. Correct. 5x. Very good. Yeah, plus 6. Correct. Okay, betul. So, the last answer will be negative 2, 0. Then, x power of 3. 
plus 5x square plus 6x dx. Okay, so you get this and then equal. Okay, now we're going to integrate. Lah. So we just integrate whatever function we have here. So that will give you uh, that will give you what x power of 3 will become x power of 4 over 4 plus. 5x power of 3, correct? 3 plus correct? Okay. Okay. Tak ada dx dah. Dx kita dah integrate dah. So, kita kita letak libi dia. So, 0. Negative 2 to 0. Okay. Ah, now, you program your calculator. Ah, masuk calculator. Okay, program and calculator, when you put 0, 0, 0, so entire thing will be 0, minus, I need yang easy lah, eh? kalau it's 0, okay, it's, the one thing easy is this. Okay, I think before we proceed, I think this one can cancel, right? This one simplify become 3, right? Uh, so, better you put 3 lah. Okay, so the, the second thing will be, uh, put negative 2. So, you put negative 2, negative 2 power of 4, divide by 4 plus 5 over 3 and then uh, negative 2 power of 3 plus 3 power of uh, 3 times negative 2 power of 2 close bracket ok what is our answer equal 0 minus ok program your calculator eh? so x power of 4 over 4 plus 5 over 3 x power of 3 plus 3 s square and then when you press uh, negative 2 you will get 8 over 3 if I'm not mistaken Betul eh? Dapat 8 over 3, right? Oh, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, ni ada something salah ni. Sorry, sorry. Ni saya bagi dekat sini salah. Ni actually tolak 3 lah. Alamak. Okay, when I transferring this, I put something wrong here. Sorry, eh, ini patutnya tolak tiga. Okay, sorry for this. Kalau tak, kita dah terdapat dia punya ni. Kita function saya letak salah, sorry. Okay, ini tolak tiga. So, no big changes lah. Actually, only the minus lah. Only this become minus. Okay, sorry, eh. Ini salah dekat sini. Ini just become minus. Because I put wrong function. Bila wrong function, kita terdapat ikut dia punya ni. So, this one minus 3. Minus 3 here, minus 3 here, minus 3 here, minus, minus, minus. Okay. Only the minus. Eh? Because uh, I shouldn't, I mean, uh, when I do the second diagram, sudah salah. Eh? Tadi, mungkin betul, mungkin saya, saya pindah ni, dia jadi salah. Sorry for this. Okay. So, you should get. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yes. Bukan 5X. Oh, yeah, yeah, betul, 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 betul. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, you are right. Oh, yeah, correct. You are, you are right. Hmm, oh, ada banyak, banyak salah ni. Sorry for this, eh. Okay, ni patutnya salah. Yeah, you are right. This one supposed to be minus. Semua so, ni akan jadi lain. Okay, so correction of this, this will be minus x, right? 
yeah this one should be minus x minus uh, x square correct and then here will become uh, I think here become x power of 3 over 3 lah. and then minus 1 over 3 x power of 3 lah. Okay, sorry for the correction lah. Eh. Ini saya buat salah tadi. Okay. Okay, now you you find your calculator. Uh, find using your calculator. X power of 4. Over 4 minus x power of 3 over 3 minus 3 s square. Okay, what is the answer? So I think you get negative 16 over 3. You should get negative 16 over 3. Okay, so negative, negative become positive. Right? So positive answer is actually 5.33 unit square. Are you agree with this? Betul, right? Betul. Okay, kita dapat ni. So first answer, A1, kita dah dapat dah. First answer, area 1 we already have ok now now we go for area 2 ok go for area 2 uh, area 2 you can do faster because already because you already have the function only the limit you change ok you will change only the limit actually you can do faster don't worry we can do it faster ok so we get this eh? ok now Go for area 2. You see, we can do faster. What, okay, why I say that? You see, this time 0, 3. The function, you already have the answer. So, this one you can change to x power of 3 minus x square minus 6x dx. Uh, so, but kita expand tadi kan? So, inilah jawapan dia. And then, we already have the integration also. Integration is this. So, you just copy balik saja. So, you get what? You get x power of 4 over 4 minus x power of 3 over 3 minus 3 s square and then the limit you just change eh? change to 0 3 only that part is different so actually the second part will be easy to go actually so only the first part will do a lot of manipulation because you first time doing the second time is very convenient lah because you can do faster Okay, copy balik saja. We, uh, okay, all this I accept there. Ini semua saya akan terima. Because kita tak perlu buat dua kali benda yang sama. Okay, so now proceed for the uh, substitution. So you get 3 power of 4 over 4 minus 3 power of 3 over 3 minus 3 times 3 square minus and then 0 lah. Because 0, 0, 0. So all things become 0. So the next answer will be equal Okay, yeah, correct. Negative 60, 63, eh? 63 over 4. Okay. Okay, again, I want to check the answer. X power of 4 over 4 minus X power of 3 over 3 minus 3 S square. And I put 3, I get... Yeah, correct. 16 over 3. Uh, 63 over 3. Okay. Now, you see, uh, apa you nampak? Sini dapat negative kan? You see, look at there. Number 2, area 2, you get negative answer. Uh, why you get area, uh, why you get negative answer? It because of, because of the uh, region lah. This about the negative region. That's why you get negative answer. Okay. So, the answer is in decimal is negative 15.75. Okay. This is what we have in the calculator. Okay, now. Now, how to make the positive answer? Ha, kalau kita sekarang ni sebab area tak boleh jadi negative. Right. So, in order to get positive answer, then 
one thing you need to do is you need to do modulus kena buat modulus ha, you do modulus ok, tukar ni jadi modulus so you put every 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 equation here you put modulus modulus, modulus, last answer you put positive eh? ok, last answer you change to positive answer Okay, can follow eh? Because area cannot be negative. So if you have negative answer, then you should put you should put modulus. So we have one thing extra here is we put modulus. Eh? Okay, are you following? Boleh ikut? Okay, uh, now now we want what? We want total area, right? Kalau kita mau kita mau total area right, so we total area, then you plus these two answer, so total area of shaded region. Okay, shaded region should be equal 5.33 plus 15.75. We plus these two answer because of what? Because we what we want is the total area. Sebab kita mau dua dua area kan tadi. So, kalau kita mau dua-dua area, then you should plus these two answer. So, 5.33 plus 17.75 and 15.75, you get 21.08 unit square. Ah, So, inilah jawapan kita untuk last answer. Okay, this is our last answer. Okay, 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 let's say that, eh? let's say. Let's say my problem is okay. Let's say tadi you buat dari tadi apa? You actually you doing from negative two until three, right? Okay. Let's say lah kalau you pilih function ni tadi. Okay. Kalau lah you pilih function ni tadi. Okay. Let's say kalau you buat you dah buat split, eh? You akan dapat jawapan apa tau? You akan dapat jawapan ni. Five point three three minus fifteen point seven five. Actually, you get negative ten point four two. Kalau you buat tadi, you tak split the function, you akan dapat negative 10.52. Kenapa dia akan dapat negative 10.52? Because, because of what? Because, because bila you kira negative 15.75, dia automatik akan tolak benda tu. Tapi kita bukan nak tolak. Kita sebenarnya nak tambah. So that's why you will you will get less than the area supposed to be. Sebab apa? Ini dapat dari mana? You dapat daripada 5.33 minus... 15.75 uh, You akan dapat Tolak jadi macam ni Tapi kita bukan nak tolak Kita nak tambah So that's why You have to do it Them in the uh, Different function In order to avoid This error uh, Kita nak elak problem ni In order to avoid This error We have to do it Split function So we have to split The function So this, this is the last answer Okay, ini akan jadi last answer. Okay, ini akan jadi last answer. Ada apa-apa soalan nak tanya saya? Boleh ikut? Boleh ya? Eh? Okay, I think kita stop sampai sini lah. Okay, kalau saya ajar you uh, the paksi Y nanti pening pula. Cukup untuk hari ni lah. Okay, so I think stop until this.